Right, so welcome back to the um, uh, personality psychology course. So in the last video, in the previous video, I have explained to the extent uh, about uh, the dark trite personality. And now I'm going to continue with uh, the explanation about light trite personality. And this is going to be a very short introduction video because the research on, on this matter, on this issue, uh, is still very limited. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, I would say that this is rather new uh, developments of, uh, of, the, of the theory of the personality theory. So there has uh, there, there are lots of things that we have not known yet about these uh, aspects. But for sure, uh, this is the, uh, the contrary, uh, the counterpart of the, of the pre, uh, of the, of the dark trite personality. Yeah. So the, uh, one of the, uh, stronger, uh, strongest criticism was, uh, the dark trite personality, uh, cannot comprehensively capture, uh, the, the totality of human experience. Yeah. Because of course we're not only uh, our dark side does not uh, define us as a human but we need to see uh, ourselves as a whole yeah so it's a it's a whole package of negative and also positive sides yeah so we need to also understand the light part of ourselves which kind of interesting yeah uh, and this light right of personality is a form of theory or concept that criticized the previous the dark right personality theory the pre and the, well, but the light trait of personality has still a long way to go to uh, to overpower the the dark trait personality theory. So um, it is still a growing field of research. There are lots of things that we have not known yet, so for sure. And uh, well, basically, uh, this, this, the research psychologists uh, believe that, um, that 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 a human being would also posit the need to, to be fulfilled and also has some kind of growth-oriented outcomes uh, in life. So we, it's not only, um, we were not only, um, uh, we're not only bad person or manipulative person and, and it's, uh, and Dark Triad would push this uh, this one-sided narrative about human being, yeah, because we are also growth-oriented person, yeah. We we seek for we need to be uh, a grown-up, yeah. We need to be mature emotionally and socially. So these uh, needs or uh, or orientation would best captured by the, the light trait personality, and the light trait personality also consists of three different dimensions which is also quite interesting as a mirror of, of the doctorate personality. And the first dimension is Kantianism. Maybe you also familiar with this philosopher. Yeah, it, it uh, strangely, well, interestingly, it mirrors uh, the, the doctorate personality. While that doctorate personality, one of its dimension uh, inspired from the great philosopher uh, also a great philosopher the Niccolò Machiavelli but the light right personality uh, borrow uh, the name of again one great moral philosopher yeah of our age uh, Immanuel Kant uh, for formulating a dimension that that people not always yeah not always uh, striving for their personal gain. So it's completely contradictory to Machiavellianism. Yeah, so not all people are manipulative. Some people would have this integrity. Yeah, they don't, they avoid to manipulate or trading people uh, just to uh, just to reach their personal gain. Yeah, so it's completely contradictory to uh, Machiavellianism. And Kantianism again, yeah, um, uh, derived from the mandates, not uh, the arguments, yeah, from Immanuel Kant, from his categorical imperative. It's a very famous uh, moral stance, yeah, moral theory, and it says that it said that uh, act in such way that you treat humanity, uh, treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, never merely, never merely as names, as means to an end 
but always at the same time as an N. Yeah, so well, this is quite interesting. And it was thought that Kantianism provided a sensible contrast. Yeah, it's completely contradictory to Machiavellianism uh, in the doctrine framework. And also the second dimension is humanism. And it can face the need to value the dignity and being respectful to other people. Yeah, so we're not all, always uh, try to harm people with violence and charm and being manipulative to other people in order to um, in order to um, to fulfill our own needs to harm them. Yeah, so we sometimes we value dignity. We 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 are being respectful to people and this. Uh, needs or this or uh, this tendency is captured uh, with it captured by humanism dimension and also the last dimension is faith in humanity so this dimension is our optimism yeah it covers our optimism that uh, that people has a still a stronger sense of humanity we can be respectful we can be civil to one another so this dimension is about that, yeah, the optimism whether other people would show a moral virtue, yeah, a moral virtue, and believing that all people is inherently good. No, n none of us is actually uh, born with the tendency of harming other people. So this this, uh, this dimension is exactly that, yeah. And you can also, yeah, you can try to uh, combine dark and light trait personality in one test. Yeah, I think this is quite interesting. You can try it. Uh, you can try the test, uh, both uh, the dark trait and also the light trait uh, personality test, and then you can see the combination of those uh, of those two uh, part uh, two conflicting uh, personality theory. Uh, but the problem is that I haven't read any research that could support the arguments that those two uh, personality theory can be combined in such ways. But well, this is something that you that you'd like to try, yeah, at least to give you a sense uh, the difference between the light trait and also the light uh, the the dark trait and also the light trait personality. So yeah, this is the uh, some of the items uh, from the light trait scale. Um, some of the items are representation of faith and humanity some of them represent humanism and the other and the rest would uh, would serve as the as the uh, as as the item scales that 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 measure kantianism yeah so it's a very short scale you should enjoy it i mean it doesn't take any uh, a long time to finish and to complete the test and again you should try to give you to give you the sense of to give you the first hand experience about the, the psychological or the personality theory so if you have any questions yeah if you have any question thoughts about this theory about this material please do raise them uh, in Google classroom or you can just drop me an email or just message me on whatsapp and i'll try my best to to answer all of your questions so i hope that you find this material or this topic interesting so thank you so much for uh for uh following this material so and i hope that you find this as useful so thank you so much